A carousel or slider is a great way to display multiple pieces of content in a single area of any product. Figma makes it easy to create a carousel slider with its component and interaction animation features. Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Learn Design with Ganesha. Let's start how we do it. First, we'll create the image as a component for the carousel. So we will be able to change or set any content inside it. So, create a rectangle and drop your image, then mask the image with the rectangle. It's easy for us to change the inner content of the mask later. Then, click on the Create Component button to create an image component. Then add a variant. Click on the Auto Layout Add button to structurize the content. Change Vertical Layout to Horizontal Layout. Then add as many variants as you want. And change the name of the variant property one by one. I have used four variants, image 1, image 2, image 3 and image 4. Then right click on the mouse to open the options. Click on plugins and open Unsplash. If you haven't added this plugin so go to the community page and add it. Otherwise, you can drop your image from your computer. Now our basic image component is ready with all the variants as slides. Now time to add the dots component as indexing of slides. Draw a rectangle. Set one pixel border radius. And duplicate it as many pictures are there. Add auto layout. And click on create component. Then select all the elements of this component and click on Create Boolean Property button. Set name and value as true or false for it and click on Create Property. By adding this we can hide show this component later as your requirement. Let's create a new style of it, add a variant. Set 10 px border radius of the new variant. OK indexing dots are ready. Now we are creating new indexing using these images. First of all, we duplicate all these images one by one. Select all the images and set width 32px and height 32px. Set 8px border radius and corner smoothing 100%. Then add auto layout and set gutter space 8px. And click on create component. Then select all the elements of this component and click on create boolean property button. Set name and value as true or false for it and click on create property. By adding this we can hide show this component later as your requirement. Cool. All the assets are now ready. Now go to the assets and drag and drop the image component. Click on clip content to hide extra content, set 10px border radius. Create a duplicate copy of this component. Set width 32px. We create this type of image on both sides. Change the border radius style according to your requirement.
Select all these components and press Command plus G to make a group. Now drag and drop the indexing component that we created earlier. Rename the image components. Like image 1, image 2, image 3, and image 4. Create a component and change the vertical layout to a horizontal layout. Then add variants as many images are. And change the name of the image component one by one as shown in this video tutorial. For example, in the first block, there will be fourth image, first image, and second image. Now set the indexing component style one by one, like the selected index is colored and the rest are in gray style. Now it's time to prototype, set the prototype first block to the second. Set the property on click to after delay. And set animation property as smart animation. Like this, we set all the steps, the second block to the third block, the third block to the fourth block, and then the fourth block to the first block back. So it will animate in a loop. Okay cool, set the prototype of the index image on click for all the blocks one by one like given in this tutorial. Now create a frame and drag and drop the animated component from assets.
Rearrange it. Set the A-frame background color according to you.